Yo, what's going on guys, your boy IceCodeR6 back with a new video. And in today's video, do you really need a stack to beat people? Today, I'm going to be testing five people solo queue and five people that are flat, and we're going to see how it goes. So, if you guys want more of this, or if you want another video, or if you want to be in a video like this, make sure you join the Discord, and make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's get straight into the video. Right, good luck, high five. Good luck, high five. Alright, so as we get into the first game here, Solo cube flats versus all right if as we go into the first game here We have the solo cube players and we have the plat stack Now I think this should be a very fun game and I told him to have fun and to talk and try to get creative with it Oh, and look at that. Guess who gets banned? Finca the most played operator in v uh, Vector glare right now. That's actually crazy. That's your own organ Another very very common pick on organ Thatcher is very very good as well Hopefully they ban Mira Kane, Valk. Okay, Valk is a very also common operator here. No biggie whatsoever. And the last man, it's either gonna be Mira Kane or Capcan. Interesting. Interesting. So I guess the the five stack of solo key players they don't want to run in the Capcan traps when trying to push their own little thing. Uh, as I have it set up here, I have the solo queue players on the orange team. They are in not a Discord call. They're all in team chat. So basically, they're going to record their POVs. I'll put it in the video. And the blue team is the five stack of plats, and they're all on a call together. So one's in a call and one's not. So it's simulating a ranking, basically, on how it would be, you know, solo queue players are usually you know, in team chat. So I think it should be a very cool uh, video, like I said. And the sixth pick is off because attacker repick is here. That's why. Totally didn't forget it. All right, now I have to get back into the way that I can do this. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm glad that I don't have the hand cam on because otherwise I would be lost. So as we have the solo stack here, we have... Okay, interesting Kate to start off here as is their only denial They're putting a Kate on the bottom wall Very interesting starting out here with the solo queue players. I mean, I'm hoping they're getting all the reinforcements down and They're reinforcing into master is that what I saw? Okay, so we have a wide variety of players here in the solo queue stack. I asked them to be any rank and this cane is very interesting. Putting the cane on that kid's wall. Very interesting. Then putting the the charge underneath the wall where it could be shot so easily. They didn't have to use utility or anything. And as we also start off here, we have the Hibana droning lobby to see if there's any roamers. No, there's one Z. Nomad solo queue. Oh. Now at the five stack, he's solo pushing by himself. Nomad knows he's there. And it looks like... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like it. Does he know he's down though? Oh, and the sledge actually comes in from behind. Wow. And another refrag. Trying? Wow. Pete. My goat. My god. King goat. What a good refrag from him on the two. They also pick him nomad. So it's a 5v3 situation here now. Looks like it's going to be a split take. And they're working together very well. Maverick and Nomad pushing Attic while the other two attackers are trying to push Master Side. They're gonna drone out the side and see what's up. Sushi knows that there's nothing on the wall now. And look at that. That Kane got off so easily. That's why you want to try to make him use utility and put it near the top of the wall or on the sides. Sushi going to open up the Master Breach. They're nading below and the common default gets shield. And it looks like he missed his name. However, he's gonna solo push two in kids. One on the Breach just ratting right now. Scope Lee is dropping downstairs. He hears a person down here, but does Peek? No, he does, and he actually gets a nice little 3k going up the white stairs. This is very, very good from the attacking team. They're pushing in. Comms must be going off. They know last one's kids, and Peek with the 4k, dude. I love this guy so much. Look at this. Such a coordinated push from the five stack of plat players. They know what to do. They're talking together. They're pushing two separate directions to try to pinch them into one singular area. And guess what? It works out. So as we go into round two, let's see if the defensive team, the solo queue players, can bring it back up and try to coordinate. Yo, let's put utility here. You know, 
Let's push these places. I think the Mozzie on the hash kind of was in a horrible situation. You couldn't really see much from that angle. And that's why it's a really bad spot. I wouldn't recommend it. But I mean, hey. They tried, right? They tried. As we go on to the players now, it looks like they are going to go downstairs. The solo queue players of any rank to go downstairs. Again, this cave. Very interesting spots with this cave. I'm not going to lie. He caves off the freezer wall. And was that also the other side of the freezer wall? They saw that was... Whoa, okay. Interesting spots they put the mirrors. Uh, very, very interesting. And they reinforce off all a bunker as well. Something... Interesting tactics here. Very, very interesting tactics. <laughs> I mean, I really don't know what more to say. But it looks like Lou is going to try to pick up one. Trying to go small top if there is one here. Let's see if there's anyone here. It looks like there's no one here at all. So Lou is kind of in a situation where if he knows, he knows. And he can go back safely. But it looks like it's a full bunker take care. No shield and elbow whatsoever. I have no clue where the shield is. And Flyso actually gets the first pick of the round. I don't know where that was from, but good pick. Hopefully, they're communicating and talking. Their bunker, maybe backstairs as well, since there's no backstairs cam. The attacking team droning up T2. Seeing anyone saying playing tower so they can actually take the backstairs. Peaked already on pillar, misses his name. It looks like the, def the defensive team, excuse me. The defensive team looks like they're already scared of trying to pillar, but fly so looks to retake it. They open up that E box wall as well towards bunker. And Fly, so trying to get aggressive, he gets a second pick. And Splimmy actually gets his second pick. Or his first pick of the round, but the second. Oh, oh my. Ice Cold can't talk. I can't calm. Sushi going in huge here, getting the entry frag pick. Line skin out. 4v3 for the attacking team. It looks like they're going to have control of Bunker and Pillar, perhaps? Lou is just looking to get aggressive, trying to go for a flank. One backstairs, one pillar already, they know. But do they? Opening up the rest of the wall, and also, wow! What a shot from Flyso, as they did not reinforce off Bunker. Splimey getting the plant down, going in a 3v3 situation. Pete kills the guy backstairs, trying to flank. Pete going huge in Bunker once again. And look at this, Splimey planting in an awkward spot, and wow. Swain gets off the plant, but Swan's got a little too aggressive. However, good refrag. They won the round. Good picks. They had good positioning. And that's a 2-0 lead for the plant team. What a good first round. I'm butchering some calls. I'm getting used to it. This is the first game. So <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh... <laughs> Look at Peaked in the chat, dude. I get that you watch a lot of Ice Cold, but don't play like Ice Cold. Bruh, I get those right. What are you talking about? What does that mean, bruh? That is cap. That is cap. However. However. Oh, look at this. Look at this real quick. Hey, buddy. I'm recording a video right now. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? <laughs> I'm recording a video. I'll, uh, I'll be done in like an hour-ish. Yeah, an hour. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, if you don't know, that was Garfield in the middle of a call. I'm assuming he wanted to play ranked or something, but you know what? This is more important. This is way more important. Alright, so as we go into the round here, we have basically the same setup from the players, except no K this time to try to stop any hatches or any wall. Legion being brought this time as well to try to get some info for backstairs, I'm assuming. It looks like it's going to be a bunker take again, maybe a backstairs take. But we will have to see what happens here. Lou looking to roam once again, maybe getting some patrol. Oh, the rotate that. Alright, so it's a roaming Lou here going to the T3. Maybe they'll waste time. Maybe they'll drone it, maybe they won't. Looks like they're already trying to take tower and backstairs and bunker as well. Trying to get the e box ball for the mirror and it's muted. What can they do? Realistically, nothing because they have nothing to get it. So, and the floor's room gets the shield. The shield has no ADSs, it has nothing 
to help protect it. And it looks like they're reinforcing off bunker. They did indeed. One back series gets by an Elamine. The hatch is soft. Peaked already downstairs on pillar. He has control and just gets super aggressive. Running into e here. Let's see what he does. He sees a person in the hallway. Will he communicate with them? One swinging pillar. He's going back. And he misses his shots. Peaked the lesion. Oh, and he swings and dies. Oh my goodness gracious, Pete. They have full pro pillar control, but Lou on the flank right now on Baxter's. He takes his one and gets out of there. The plant being brought down, though. 3v2, attacking team up in numbers. What can they do? Lou is going to push Freezer, trying to get the retake here. Do they know one is laundry, though? Hiding in the corner. Fly so. Wow. Pete gets united in the 2v2 situation they know bomb is down fly so with another great shot on the round two one will they hold they see the person will he try to go for the defuse fly so misses shots but lou in a 1v1 and he wins it wow and he has time for the defuse as well what a great round from the solo queue players hopefully communicating and it looks like it worked out for the better and guess what the solo queue players win the round wow Inspirational, honestly. Some nice shots from Fly. So Lou picks up the one v one. Look at this! <laughs> wow, some trash talk already going out as well. That was actually a really nice round, though. I like how they came back. Lou getting one from backside, not getting more aggressive. Rotating round to Freezer, and he gets his pick and gets the round. Great job from him. As we go into the fourth round here, we switch sides because there's ring settings. So hopefully we could see the solo queue players try to coordinate more and attack and maybe bring some ops and try to do what they did. But the five stack may prevail and they might try to just hold down side and communicate with each other, but we will have to see. We will have to see. The Banshee and Barbed Wire for White, a great combo. Although it can be taken out super easily by a nade or a Zofia charge. But it gives you some info on where they are pushing from. Three. So, good first half. And again, I want to see what the attackers can do here. They have a drone in sight. Maybe they'll be able to need below. Fly so with the kid shield. They, the stack is playing in kids with the shield. Reinforce the hatch as well. Let it be known. Let it be known. This could be actually really good for the attackers that they can need below the shield and most likely get it at a certain angle. But as we go up here, we have them spawning all small tower except two, one in the front, I believe. Yeah, one in the front. So see what they can do. The east. Let's see if he goes for master or he just pushes big window. Very interested to see what they can do and communicate here as solo queue players. Looks like they're going to communicate to get underneath the wall, even though oh, there's a bandit. No Cade, because Cade is not banned, which I would be anything in my opinion. However, I believe they already got the stuff off the wall. He taking a little bit of damage from that name. Scope sitting on top of small tower here. Looking for uh, the tall tower punch. That's that's funny. Lou missing some shots with the 150. Is the LMG broken? We'll see here. Stuns to see if there's anyone in trophy. And there is not. They take most of the master control. Put a claymore in master. Oh, good. I like this a lot. The defensive team looking to bunker a little bit. They're mostly bunkering besides one rumor downstairs in Freezer here. They get the main wall open already on Master. Two big window. They could get a name to go in on big, but they're needing the kid shield. Penguin takes a little bit of shots and Sushi with the first pick. Let's look at that. Sushi the goat. Another one in Master. He hears him. And wow, he doesn't even communicate. Okay. Sushi with the two pick. He knows maybe one more. Oh, that timing was insane. No way. And Flyso gets a pick from downstairs as well. 4v3 for the defensive team here. We have Flyso just roam clearing by himself down here. Just doesn't care whatsoever. One in Attic. Two towards Big Window. And one on Breach here for the defensive team. Jackal trying to shotgun below to put pressure for Big Window as they push up White here. Good around. Flyso on top White right now. Will they know? Ooh, Flyso with almost a flicky reaction. No one on Breach, though, but they don't know. They don't know whatsoever. Look at Sushi. Sushi is just on Breach, looking for the push for top white, and Flyso does not know, but he misses. Flyso does die, however. 
close. Hits one top white, and it's a 3v1 situation. Lou in the 1v3. Breach open. Almost kills one. He does not hear him. Oh, he sees him. Oh my goodness gracious. Sushi. Sushi with the choke. 2v1 scenario. Lou technically can win this. 30 seconds left. He has 150 bullets now as he reloads. And this could be game changing right here. Look at this. Lou just spraying and praying. The team. What is this? The five seconds not even playing off each other. They're playing really deep. Smoke gets hit a little bit. Yes, hit a little bit more. But will Lou know where the fifth guy is? He doesn't look at it. Want to add it? He wins it. Lou wins it. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. What a 1v2 from Lou. The 150 crutch. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. What a round from the solo two players. Does Lou clutch up the 1v3 situation? If they were to just let him in, played off the Banshee, and someone big window, one attic maybe, the player crosses, when they shoot, they swing together, they would have won that. But guess what? The plat players don't stick together, and they actually toss the 1v3. Wow. What a round from Lou. That was, wow. I mean, that's some, that's something you can't teach right there. That is just chef's kiss right there. I mean, wow. Wow. That was actually insane. I mean, I, I'm just speechless right now. I mean, that was like textbook perfect right there. The defensive team will hopefully, you know, talk more about it. Sushi kind of did fold there, however, and that really wouldn't have made the round difference if he didn't push in the breach. Just let them, punch, like, jump in the breach, you know, and then they could have tried to play together in the 1v3 instead of giving him just the one picks. I know Lou is very, very happy about that right there. I mean, that is just, that's out of this world. What a clutch from him. So it looks like they aren't going to play the kid's shield on the hatch. They're going to put it on the default kid's door this time with alibi and sushi still has two pieces of barb to put down okay bottom line i like it they have another shield that they can work with let's see if they do it on the kiss hatch perhaps reinforcing everything again it looks like it's kind of like a split push again but maybe a master master big tower perhaps i see one of the enemies actually going into t3 right here excuse me split me Looking to get an early pick, maybe. As I don't know if the attackers know. However, he's just sitting up there on the cam looking for a first pick. If he looks right now, he could get the pick. Oh, no. Oh, he just missed. Oh, he's not even looking there. Oh, that timing's horrible. They already have control of Garage. Jackal is already in lobby. Fly so also in lobby, just running through. Nading below. Do they know? They probably will get the kid's shield, I'm assuming. Oh, no. They missed it, actually. Peek below. Trying to room. Looking to pick up someone. The window is not broken. Capital is running outside right now. Looking to see what he can do. Blue and a very... Oh, he's entry fragging. Okay, he's entry fragging in the tr in the master of the trophy. Just holding. Can they get the breach off? I don't know. They need to communicate. They need to talk together to get the breach. There's the bandits on breach here. The cabbie tells is downstairs by himself, flaming off the shield. I've never seen this tactic before. But it looks like they're working the other. Swimmy on the first pick downstairs for Scope. Scope 0 and 5. Swimmy has now meaning split control. Will Pete come downstairs as well and try to help him? Now he's just going to hold bottom wave. Swans looks for Nitro out. Swimmy with another pick towards lobby. The Nitro does not hit. Uh, fly so with the I'm ass in the chat. They do have the breach open though. This is very powerful. They could try to get into default spots or maybe rush in the attic. They don't have Ema Lucy this time, so they can run in freely without getting that Banshee effect. 4 3 for the defenders. They know one's downstairs somewhere. The attackers do. One top white. Good crosses here this time. Swans in attic. Just gonna hold down the floor, I assume. They are looking to reposition. Reposition and they light up swans down. Well, the money thing gets healed actually because he's Thunderbird. Sofa dies from above to peak and peak with a nice angle towards bottom white. That's just unfortunate timing. They know one is big window now with the alibi prisma just spraying and praying. And one on reach. He could realistically just go in. But where is Swimmy? Swimmy is downstairs just holding. Holding for the flank. They, do they have defuse? The they do have case. Autumn, oh, dives from top white. Lou in a 1v4 scenario. 1v3 now as he baits big window. 15 seconds, almost on the clock as 15 goes down. And it looks like Lou is going to lose this round as the smoke, oh, shoots, he dies. 
Is this winnable? Once again. Oh, no. And Swans actually picks him up. Good crosses, but I guess another one is just... Okay. There's two kids. Great round from the stack. Once again, 3-2. Match point here. We will see what happens as the round goes on. The solo queue players aren't doing that bad. However, it's just these one-on-one -on -one picks that are really killing them and not really helping them whatsoever. With the stack here, you know, maybe just do a big window master push and see what you can do. Maybe get on the trophy repel, see if you can pick off Attic, you know. But realistically, they're going the defensive team is going downstairs now. So we'll see what can happen with the, the attackers to see if they can push or not. Two donuts on the solo queue players team. One donut on the five stack of plants. Now, this can be good, this can be bad. The comeback, there's always a chance to get a kill in these rounds, as is match point for the defenders. It looks like they are going to go downstairs here, bring the cane as well. The attacking team is bringing Hibana. I wonder if they're going to do a full bunker take or what. But it looks like most of the drones did spawn backstairs besides one, perhaps. So it looks like it's going to be a backstairs, maybe a bunker take. Let's see if they bring the floors like the defensive team did. Then we can see what happens here. Yeah, it does look like an elbow extension. Good with the meat jimmers. In case they do bring up floors, they can six off of it. But it looks like they are going to stick the lineup. They're going to stick the lineup. They have a dining hut as well. Maybe Lou goes in solo and tries to get a pick. Or if they're room clear. Well, see, there's only one drone left of, of the attacker's team. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, four taken out for the prep phase. Not a good start already. Hibana and Zofia already looking to take small towers super early and aggressive. They are droning though. But is there anyone over here? Let's take a look. No one is over here roaming whatsoever. It looks like it is a bunker down in sight from the defensive team. Look at this. Look at this angle by Peak making on back stairs. Is he going to open the attic hatch as well to make it even better for him? Perhaps. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, nope. Not looking at sushi. Not looking at sushi here. Sushi, stop. Sushi. PG-13. Okay, and it looks like... <laughs> it looks like they are going to take backstairs and also in small tower shower side. Looking at the hatch, they know there's holes above and you're just... Spraying and praying? Okay, interesting. They don't know where Peaked is right now, but they know he's on the holes above. Well, they tried to pressure him out. It looks like they're going up upstairs, and they know he's upstairs somewhere. Put a claymore down just as here they can shoot it. And they actually track him. And peek now in a scenario where he can either stay, drop, or he can die. So we see three players. You guys see you guys see this on the screen too. Well, we had three players. Now there's only one. And the one holding top white and one in kids. They're looking. I don't know if they're gonna roam clear or if they're just gonna leave him there. But they're just kind of just like dumbfounded, to be honest. There's a Havana roam clearing with them. If Swimmy actually gets the first pick. On to Zopa. Lou gets a refrag on Lou the or Lou gets a refrag onto Peak the Roamer. That was a good pick from him. 4-4 now. They do have the Kate up, so it's gonna be kinda hard to get the hashes. And we will see what happens. All all the defensive team in bunker, or they're in sight, just bunkering down. The freezer hatch was soft. Lou looking to try to burn. Knows there's a player there. Maybe they will nade down. Fly so working the front side. Scope just looking. Doesn't really see much. Here's the door. Now they try to see what happens here. As they know one's front side, maybe multiple freezer. And they're also looking towards back. There's multiple people on back. There's holding it down. Fly so in the front by himself using his flashbang. Let's see what they can do here. Lou working out back. by himself. He sees the player. Oh, what will happen? Two players freezer. One front, one back. Two people holding back. They could realistically could flood deep freezer here. Fly still taking some damage from the Jaeger in closet. And Lou picks up one from Swans, but gets refracted by the cane. Sushi in a tough scenario here. It looks like the Yana is already in freezer as well. 15 seconds left already. Wow, the clock is going down super fast. They have to get the bomb down if they want to win the game. Fly so stunning. Sees oh and Jaeger. Wow. 2v2. They need to get the bomb down. Autumn needs to get the bomb down. He's planting in the middle of sight. Oh no. But it looks like he's going to rush and take one. Oh, but they're getting the bomb down. Cover him. Cover him. Oh, and Scoped Lee redeeming himself. Wow. With the two kills all around. Look at that. Wow. 
The bomb goes down, but the defenders are all away from the bomb. And guess what? They don't win the round. Wow. What a great push from the defensive team as they take the round and they take the end into overtime. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. That was like a phenomenal push, all pushing together, getting the bomb down. They take Freezer. The Yana didn't get a little aggressive there. However, it did show up. It did work. And guess what? He won them the round. He died. He killed the kids in Freezer. <laughs> and, I mean, it just ended up working. I guess they were getting the bomb down regardless, so it wouldn't have been a 1v1, but I mean, wow. And, like, speechless, that's just phenomenal. That was good teamwork from the solo queue players. And it, they took the dub. So now the, uh, the defensive team goes back. The, the plat players here. The plat players decide to go back upstairs as they won it before. Or no, they actually lost it before. They lost the 2v1, but then they won it the second time. That's what it was. So they do have the key this time for Walden Owl. Swans running their running to try to get some burnout. We have the attacking team looking to do a frontside tank. Perhaps. Perhaps. Reinforcement is going down already. Pretty good. I don't know why the audio is cutting out like this, but they do. The defensive team does take out what, two drones? Two drones. No, three drones. Three drones. Sorry. There's only two left. Realistically, if you're solo queue, you want to keep drones in pocket. Or you want to try to put them in positions where they can't get shot. The attacking team here looking to spawn mostly small tower. To see what they can do. Maybe they'll do a west overtake from dining and showers. Perhaps it is. Or maybe it's a master take. We'll have to see here. They are going to have to get the kid off. And wait, did I actually see this right? Scope Lee as Cappy Tau pushing by himself downstairs. I mean, it doesn't, wow. It doesn't get more interesting than this. Okay, and Scopely is just going in. Off the rip, off the rip. Okay, he has control. I don't know what he heard. But he's just by himself here. He's by himself pushing tall tower. All the defensive teams still droning. Two outside master, one taking small tower here. And one big window. Scopely, by himself, going onto stage. He sees the hatch open, but I don't think the defensive team does. And Swimmy actually takes out loot on the repel. It's a bad, bad first pick. However, he does get it. He flamed off Attic just so he can push there. Using Is he going to use both his flames? No, he's going to smoke it off. Interesting play here. I don't know if the Jaeger knows. Does the Jaeger know? Oh, he sees him. Oh, and Scopely looks to challenge him. And actually, he kills Sushi. He doesn't even kill the Jaeger. The Jaeger is still downstairs roaming. One going on kids repel. Splimming top white right now. He might get in the crossfire of the pick. We'll have to see here. Who's on repel? We have Flyce on repel. Does not have to take that one out. Scopely knows there's a guy downstairs somewhere, but he might have ran. He's just sitting downstairs by himself. The solo queue player, indeed, showing what he can do solo. Pete takes out one in a tall tower. Good first pick. He just He's still roaming. He's still doing things by himself. And Zofa, oh my gosh, let's look at this. Just repels in big window. Does he? Wow. He just, he doesn't know where to go. He doesn't know where to look. He dies by the smoke in kids on the shield. Good place right there. They flame off attic door as Swans is taking some fire damage. But 2v4 here. I don't know really what they can do. Do they even have, they don't have the breach open. They don't have the breach open. Am I seeing this right? They don't have the breach open. Why are they not getting the breach? It's not catered, is it? One flanking from... Main stairs. Do they know? Peak shooting. They didn't even get the breach open. Flashing in front of him. Teammate going bottom white. 25 seconds left. Peak looking to get aggressive. And that's actually the round. Okay. Multiple questions there on why he didn't get the breach. Did it get key charged maybe? I don't know. But it was there was nothing on it. As a breacher, you got to get the wall one way or another. You need to communicate with your teammates and ask, you know, hey, can I get the wall? It's just... Unfortunate events occurring, and it's just, you know, what can they really do? Wow, that's just a surprise to me. Interesting. <clears throat> Good water. All right, as we go into potentially the last round here, we have the solo queue players going on master. 
with the mirror as well. Very interesting. Mirror in King. We'll see what Autumn does with the phase this time. Will you see me ask him to put it on the main wall so that you can get it? Oh. Perhaps. Oh, let's see what happens. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Also, very interesting people by the Rooney to make on to top white. Okay, I misclick. Very interesting here. I guess it got the wall one way or another, but it's going to be taken out super easy. Now, Rooney, again, these holes on top white are very... I mean, look at those. Those are like ankle holes. Those don't really help out a lot of people besides the people coming up white. What can they really do? The mirror, also kind of in a interesting spot on kids here because the, it can be shot from the kid's window or it can be shot from big window, I believe, too. Another interesting kid, I guess, if they somehow want to get it. But who knows? As the attacking team looks like it's they're gonna do a switching gun. They're entry joining as well. Swimming already in. Looking to map open the wall once his teammates gets his nomad down. This is good placement, good timing from the plats here. As it looks like they're communicating together and they're working together to get a position in place. So they already know they're waiting for the teammates to make the lines on. This is super smart from the plats working together. The solo queue players looking to try to do some stuff. The Noah guy is on Games Repel. Penguins already try already gets a pick on the fly, so they are also nading Games Window. Scope does get the uh the key charge off the thing and they don't see the repel anymore. 5v4 in the favor of the platinum players. Oreo trying to get the pick and he just misses his oh he just misses his target. Unfortunately they open up the mirror, I believe, or they need it. No, they... Oh, Swans dies. Wow. Lou is just top... Okay, he's just top main still. Wow. And what a comeback this is here. Do the, does... Wow. Look at this. 4v3. Pete tried to take him the one downstairs. The Mozzie dies. 3v3 scenario here. We hear some more gunfires being shot. Pete downstairs. 13 and 4, by the way. What a great player. Showing off his performance. No needs left. Trying to wall bang top white. They have the Master Beach open. They have Attic open as well. It looks like they are going to do a split take as their final push here. Joining to see what's up. Lou is in Armory. One kids, and then one is in Trophy. Just trying to hold the door. Dies? Wow. And the king is just by himself there for whatever reason. 2v2. Ooh, this is coming closer as time goes. The two defenders not near each other, but the two attackers... Working with each other as they're near each other. Sushi perhaps could get the plant down here. Get the plant down. 45 seconds left, but the sledge is nowhere with him. Ooh, this could be bad. This could be good. This could be bad. This could be good. Lou is in master. Retaking. He sees the Hibana. He sees the Hibana. The Hibana dies. The last one in a 1v1. He might know he's on games repel. 1v1. Oh, no. This could be either really good or really bad. Oh, peaked on the repel by himself. Lou. Let's see what he will do. Let's see what he will do. Oh. Oh, oh, I think it's game over, folks. I think this is game over. I think this is game over. Does Peek know? Peek knows, but he's trying to bait the repel. Oh, no. You got to do something. You got to do something. You know he's below. You know he's below. Look down. Look down. Oh, no. Oh, and Lou wins it, but doesn't get the defuse off. GG. What a good first game that was. Sadly... That's how it goes off. But the solo Q players do lose. And the Plat Stack wins. Our first game here, we see that the Plat Stack with the five stack of comms does win. And the solo Q players don't win. Now, if there was maybe a little more coordination within the, the team chat that they have, maybe that, you know, they would have won. But we'll have to see what happens in the next one. I mean, that was, that was a phenomenal game. That was really good. That was a good first game. And we'll see what happens in the second one. But Villa now is a very solo queue map that I've seen it played very often. However, some outcomes are good, some outcomes are very bad. I got 20 gifted if you drop two kills. What? I've watched all of Ice Cold R6 videos on how to win this map. Oh, interesting. Ice, you know, Bolo? Perhaps. Look at these guys in chat. Look at these guys. Gotta love them. So as we go in the round, map two, sorry, map two, the final map here, we decide we're gonna do two, not three. We go on to Villa. Finca and Thatcher are getting banned already. Wow. The attacking team had Finca, and they chose not to do it. What a surprise. What a surprise. But 
the first game, the plat stack won, and the solo key players lost. Now we'll see if we can switch it around here. Villa, like I said, is a very diverse map. You go good and go bad. It could be 50-50. Who knows? But we'll see what happens here as we go on to the second map. Mirror and Val getting banned on defense. Okay, I like this. So Kane's still up, but do people really run breach breachers anymore on this map? No. Fix your stream at Ice Cold. What? What? Those commands aren't working? What? Fraud. All right, we have the solo queue player starting out on defense this time. Oh, actually, defense again. Sorry. And we have the, the attacking team, which is the plat players. Ice Cold sent to 60 DBI and some whack ADS. Yes. I don't even know what my own sense is anymore. So fast. <laughs> okay, as we go into the second map here, we'll see what happens. They bring two denials, and they go living first. Um. Okay, interesting site choice. It looks like they start living. I don't know if they're trolling or what, but I don't even know how to play living myself. I mean, living room is just... How, how does one even play it? Okay, it looks like they're going to hold upstairs a little bit. What is happening? Maybe fly? I don't know. Okay, it looks like they are holding upstairs. Fly so reinforcing vault upstairs. Trying to maybe hold for vertical? I mean, this is something something new that I've never seen before. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, they have preset cams. Three cams left on the board. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know how to defend. I don't know if anyone else does, but like, interesting. Interesting. They do have a Kali. It looks like it's going to be a master take here. Perhaps. Okay, and Lou is on the room along with Fly, so just holding upstairs. And it looks like it's a kitchen take, perhaps? Master, master sign? Interesting. I don't really see any defenders up here besides Fly, so just holding the stat door. He knows. Okay. He knows he's, there's some master. They take out the Astro Cam as well. They are already on the hunt for the Rome Masters. A drone coming in. Look at this drone work by Penguins. Joining his team. Knows one's 90. Will Sushi or anyone be able to counteract that? Look at this. Pete on the Rome hunt right now. As Knock in Basement by himself. Wow, and he actually gets it. His the first pick by Flyso, the second one by Lou. Quick peeking Flyso. Look at these. Wow, look at this. Look at this. They already have control of Master and everything. Did they grid lock off the flank? Probably. Well, Maya's cheating report. Hmm, interesting. Hacker, hacker. And let's see what happens here. They scan some feet to see where everyone is. That is Flyso once again scan in Aviator. Interesting here, as most of the defensive team is just sitting in sight. New YouTube title, Solo Cheaters is 5 second. Interesting take. Flyso looking to get Rome cleared. Oh, and he knows. And Flyso takes out one with him. He hears another. He sees him. Flyso. Ooh, Flyso. Looking to take one with him. Oh, no. And Swan actually gets him. Look at that. 2v4 situation. Still really good picks here. The Nitro goes out. Sushi and Swans left in a 2v4 situation here. They know the site is living. What can they do? What will happen? Lou looking to prowl here on the flank once again. He hears them, perhaps? But does the attacking team know? Oh, timing there! Lou takes out one more. A nice little 2k. Could he go for the 3? Swans in the 1v4 situation here. With the pocket FM F2. And Swan actually gets Lou. Look at that. Swans owns Lou. And he couldn't pick up a clutch portion. But the defensive team, the solo Q players, on the roam. Wow, what a great lag spike. Anyways, that was a good roam from them. I mean, they didn't even really, you know, they, they, they people in sight. The people in sight didn't really pick up, you know, anyone. It was all the roamers. But look at this. Look at this. Lou flies on Zofa getting all the kills. Wow. Lean players, SMH. Yeah, I mean, that was a good first round, though. The attacking team pushed together. 
However, in the end, it just didn't work out. It didn't work out. However, that was still a good round. And, you know, I give my hat off to the solo queue players. I was about to win that. Defenders, protect your bombs from being Unfortunate. By attackers. Unfortunate. All right, now we see the defensive team, the solo queue players going in the kitchen. They obviously don't want to go upstairs because they want to roam a lot. A lot of anchors here and a lot of roamers. And the cap can as well. Some people are lagging for whatever reason, but okay, I'm gonna talk about that. Looks like they're gonna do a study take perhaps and go across. They have some preset drones along the way across the map. Fly so looking to hold upstairs and master, reinforcing off the triple wall. No, no, he's gonna make head holes in the ball. I usually like to reinforce off this whole entire triple. I think it's just more safer and you have more coverage upstairs, but regardless, this reinforcement is still going down here. Reinforcing off memo, and it does look like it is a study take. Maybe they're doing vertical. They do have the sledge though to make vertical if they really wanted to, but they gotta watch out for these capping traps. As the capping traps are being put down, so Lou is top red. Let's see if he could pick off one here. Peaked already on the balcony of studying, droning out to see if he could spot one. Takes out his cam. Lou roaming by himself across the map, looking to see what he can do. Split me. On Pantry Pro gets off, and we have maybe an entry. But do they know that one is top main? I don't think they did. They did not drone this. No one's getting put down, but do they know that one is close to them? No! Lou takes out another one. A great first pick from him. Here's the 90 window as well. Lou just roaming, and Fly So picks out one as well. Great first two picks, again, for the solo queue players. Lou looking to get a little aggressive. It looks like he's going to do or die here. He's in a stuck scenario here. They won a 90 window. And they have one top main. I mean, what can they do? What can they do? Oh, Lou actually shoots. Wow. Look at that. Sushi getting hit a little bit behind the bar. But will Lou be able to survive this? Flyso with another pick. 2v5. Oh, and he swings in Sushi. Sushi's just dumbfounded. What is that? Lou looking for a third player of this round. Knows where Swans is, and actually Lou gets another 3k. A flawless round from the defensive solo queue players. The plant team not working together. As I said earlier, this map is a solo queue map, I believe. And you can realistically do whatever. That My point is proven from here. And I mean, look at that. What a great round from the solo queue players. That just, you know. Look at this. Look at the scoreboard. Fly on Lou on the prowl on the roam hunt. Really, really proud of them, huh? Great, great entries from the defensive team. They get picks. The attacking team, the plat players, they need to work together more and they need to communicate more. But I'm just not seeing that. You are nuts. I mean, that's just wow. Wow, great. I mean, let me let me put this in the chat. Sushi, what the fuck are you doing, bots? Die three four what? Had to put some smack talk in there. Love sushi. Sushi the goat though. I met this guy IRL the major too. He's a very nice guy. Yeah, look at Swan trying to defend him. Now, but there just needs to be more droning and more taking. Like the drone needs to be in front of the attacker. It just I don't see enough like people pushing off a of drone. They take studying. Finger peak. All right, so the only the attacking team only has two kills total. Let it be known here. Let's see if they can get around. And we'll see what happens. It looks like it's gonna be a maybe a study over here. Yeah, it looks like a full study over here. Look at all these players. They have a blitz as well. And oh, maybe they're rotating. It looks like they're rotating around. We have everyone just going across blitz. Oh, solo. So pushing by himself with the black ice shield. Just going in from top main. Ash is also rushing. They just... Okay. Lou. Oh, looks like he's going to fight his demons. And he just... Okay. Lou is just not going to fire back. He just sprints all the way down. The shield gets him. Takes him out. The blitz is still... Still in position to really take 90. Swans is downstairs by himself. Look at this. The Ash player. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, most of them are top red. We have almost every everyone on site now. Everyone's on site. The Blitz is in sight. Oh, but they don't know where the Orcs is. The Orcs actually runs, gets lit a little bit. Sushi takes out 
one swimping on the another one they know maybe one is split one astro one split last two people alive swans might come up astro two up astro get the refrag off each other and they know oh and the frostman no way oh and the drop shot from sushi gets automized for the round now we have the plat team working together they kind of just said fuck it we're not going to really coordinate we're just going to you know rush we're going to do our own thing and it ended up working out for them bot cold good round really impressed again we will see what happens as we switch sides here and we have the plat team that is going to be the defensive team now and I think it's going to be harder for the solo queue players to try to push. Because, like I said, solo queue map, the defensive team can really just do whatever they want. As we see a cap pick here from the defensive team, which will be very interesting. Because they're going to have to roam clear or they're going to have to try to ignore the cap. But we see what happens once again. As the solo queue players go on and switch to the attacking side and i don't know if they'll spot the cap but cap is downstairs early not reinforcing not making rotates anything uh, okay and yeah, very interesting i don't know if his team is going to try to shoot drones but they see drones the middle of a lag spike there interesting ice bro if you hear people talking on my stream my window is broken there's people yelling okay thank you lol Sushi trying to get these drones, and wow, look at that. Look how aggressive Sushi is. He really wants the information out of there. I still don't know if they have a cav. Five seconds to insertion. Uh, I don't know if they still have, or I'm sorry, I don't know if they spawned out the cav whatsoever. The drones just went out, but I don't think they saw him. It looks like it's going to be a split take here. As we have two people on Astro side. They just kind of went all over the place, to be honest. Louis gonna go outside deer window. It looks like everyone's rotating across, maybe? Zofa is just lagging his booty cheek off here. Or for whatever reason. Lou outside of deer window trying to wallbang. It looks like the defensive team is gonna try to get counteractive here. As Pete looks to try to take one, knows one's lit. Perhaps. I actually jumped out the window. Oh no, Pete! Oh no! Pete is just roaming across ball, going balls deep here. They're still inside. They have no master control whatsoever. This cab is just sitting downstairs, and he looks like he's going to rotate. Maybe try to get a pick from the other side. But the Yana going in. They're doing everything they can. Two on entry. They don't have the Nomad with them to try to put off their flank, but Nomad's just solo pushing by himself. Lou going the 90 window now, trying to take that control. Might be able to get a free pick. Look at the drone. Nope, and his drone falls off. Nice. I want to see some cab action. I want to see swans try the flank. Lou gets split me on the 90 repel here. I'm assuming, yep, on the 90 repel. And they have most control. Fly so with another pick on the peak. Wow, I guess not. Oh, the claymore just went up, but didn't kill. The defender, I don't think they know swans is flanking. I don't think they know he's flanking. I don't think they know. Oh, look at this ace, though. Look at this ace droning on the floor. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, one dead. Oh, no way. They still don't know about the ace. Swans, look left. You hear him. You hear him, Swans. Swans! Swans! Let's go! With the cat pick. Swans bring back the round. So she's with another pick. Lou in the 2v2 situation. Now they even and out. Swans has to get back to site. Sushi all but alone on site. They're both top red right now. Looking to do what they can. Swans. Oh, going back to main. Okay, he's playing a safe. Lou is in sight by himself. Does he know that one is on the EV wall? It looks like they are going to try the plant. Oh, shoots him a little bit. And Lou trying to get the wall bang. Oh, oh. Swans is in. Oh, will they know the air jet? Oh, he doesn't. Okay, Sushi. Sushi. Oh, Sushi takes out one. Lou in a 1v1 scenario versus Swans. This is the title of the century here. TikToker versus TikToker. Lou looks to get the plant down. Swans in... Oh, in his cab mode. Oh, and Lou... This is very interesting. 15 seconds left. He's going to push for the kill. He's pushing for the kill. Swans. Maybe he knows. Looks like he's going vault. Swans, does he know? Swans! Let's go. Swans with a nice clutch on the 1v1. The TikTok wins. Look at this scoreboard. Very diverse. What a great clutch from Mr. Swans there. I will see you on TikTok, my friend. That was...
That was a nice little clutch there. Best cap player EU. Hmm, interesting. What a great clutch though. I mean, he got two picks from... Well, sorry, didn't he? No, he got one, and then he ran off, and then he came back to the site, clutched the 1v1. That was a nice, uh... <laughs> wow. You should see this game when it comes out. My reactions are gold. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. <laughs> oh, that was a good play. I like that. Those players were, you know, they played that well. Lou, maybe you should have stuck the plant there, or the ace should have planted in a better spot. <laughs> Finding his demons, he says, damn. Look at this scoreboard. Once again, very diverse. On my scope in Zofa, not really doing much to help. However, there is still time as there's two rounds left until one of the team wins or they go into overtime. So, we'll see what they do here. Maybe they're going for a direct push again. Swans the Cav once again. These team are not okay. Okay, so Swans trying to figure out who he is. I want to see them do a master direct, a direct take this time, but they don't have the no men. Swans in basement by himself. Most, all of them, most of them, most of them are spawning fountain side. Looks like it's going to be a master take. They have the gridlock to try the gridlock off the door, and we'll see what push they want to do here. Looks like a master take so far. Maybe. Oh, and fly so actually kills peak off the spawn peak, and it looks like he's typing. L O L. Poor peak trying to get a kill, dropping 13 last map to drop zero this game. Unfortunate. They do get the first pick this time, the solo queue players, but still winnable for the, for the defensive plat team. It looks like I hear one rushing downstairs. Okay, scope downstairs, not even looking to put the gridlocks on the statue door at all, or brick store. The cav going around. Oh, does he know? If he finds the gridlock, he could maybe get in terror by himself. Scope Lee, once again, looking to try the drone at the Sea Wars Roamers. But Scope Lee does spot Swans out the cab. So he knows he's downstairs. He doesn't, he hasn't used any of his gridlocks yet to try the flank, you know, for his flank or anything. I mean, this is very interesting. Looks like they're going to try to get Swans here. Perhaps, maybe. Uh, Flyso is just across the map by himself. Zilpha in memo by himself. Will he look to his right? Or will Swans get him in the catch? Oh. I mean, they're both by each other. Swans can make the move right now. Look at this. I'm running up red by himself. Oh, they're both going to... Okay, so they left the cab, but I don't think they know where he is whatsoever. Again, the Gridlock's finally getting put down. I was going to say he didn't put them out, but finally got them down. Alibi swinging, and he just... Okay, throws the smoke in the middle of the door. Great take here. Once again, Flyso so looking for the flank. Where's Swans? Swans is on red. The ready position. Do it now. Do it now, Swans. You gotta do it now, man. While your teammate's shooting, one down in the frost, man. Swans looking to get one. And he just goes back to the site. Oh. Alright, 4v2. 4. Oh. Oh, wow. 2v2. They should come back to get the picks. Oh, my goodness gracious. Fly so. A little bit of a flicky reaction here. It looks like Alibi on Brick Store. Let's see. Will Fly so. Fly so shoots him in the back. 2v1 scenario here for the solo queue players. Oh, it almost hits a shot, and Flyso, what a great comeback. Flyso, getting the kills he needed for, two for his team, and knows where they're coming from. Great reactions, great timing. I mean, honestly, what a great play by him. What a phenomenal time. Wow, I'm just amazed by these players. I mean, they're just doing their best, and it's working out. Wow. I love these guys. Potentially, we go into the final round here for the solo queue players. Solo queue players are up now, while the plat stack is actually down, believe it or not. However, the scoreboard is very diverse once again. Look at this. 18 kills from two people, while three from the other. Then we have 12 to 3. Now, realistically, anyone can come back. But we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. I was gonna say that joke, but they already caught me. All right, so it looks like they are going to go statuary in AV, and they bring the pulse this time. I'm very interested to see what this pulse can do. Maybe we'll play below, or will they try to roam through him? 
Oh, we'll see what happens. Will the solo queue team win? Or will they lose here? Find out now. Find out now. Here to learn and have fun. We'll see some criticism from me in the video. But it's all about learning. Trying to learn is just breaking my mentally more. This takes time and practice. Don't give up. It's all about not giving up. You just gotta have the persistence. You gotta have the energy and drive. That's really what it is. Swimmy all by himself. Ooh, I don't think they know. I don't think they know. Buck on the 90 window by himself, but Pulse could get a pick by himself. Ooh, Swimmy, what you gonna do? No, he goes to the roof. Okay, never mind. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Nothing's happening at all. As you see in the chat there, the guy kind of said that he didn't want to do it anymore, but realistically, this is how you're going to get better. You're going to learn. You're going to play better. I mean, this isn't ranked or anything. It's a cussing, but in all reality, you should be playing it like, you know, any anything. You know, trying to learn to get better, trying to use your utility more. You'll see, I hope he watches this video because I give some criticism, you know, like using your utility more, trying to push as a team, you know, just map awareness as well. But the more you play, the better you'll get. And I can assure you that. I mean, five years I've been playing, you know, I still learn new stuff every single day. As we see here, Onomize actually takes out is the first pick on the team, Sushi. The Alibi down the carry. They're smoking out bathroom as well. Lou in bathroom. They're across the map, but I don't think they know about the pulse. Well, Lucy getting scanned down. Noisy's downstairs. Splimmy is just downstairs looking to get a Nitro somewhere. We just have to see what happens. Is It looks like it's going to be a split take. Sofa is just downstairs by himself. Kind of getting greedy. Penguins taking some shots from Onomize. Smoking out the door. Will they get the wall? They can get the wall. They have no denial whatsoever. Automize should open the wall here, but Peek actually takes one downstairs with him. Lyso down the carry. Peek gets refragged by Scopely on red. 3-3. Three, three. Here we go. Swans taking out one. Does he hear one deer? Swans uses sound to his advantage. And he leaves. Okay, I guess he's done. They do open up restroom and bathroom. Scopely by himself. Splimmy inside now. All in sight. Smoke tagged. And Scopely takes out one. Has the shotgun out. Oh. Oh. Does he know? He hears him. Scopely the goat. Last one in Astro 25. And they lose. And the solo queue team takes the victory. However, it looks like I'm going to have to rematch this last game. Even though it is 1-1. Because of the player that left. That was a very good game. Very good place from solo queue people. I think that, you know, I think some of the players need to, eh, I think some of the players need to, you know, they need to look back at their gameplay and look what they do. I mean, most of them were just pushing by themselves. You know, you got to work as a team, even though you were solo queue, but it just takes time. So, I mean, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I will be making more parts like this. If you guys want any oh, video, yeah, just, if you guys want any video of this, please let me know. I love you all. I Thank you. Me last round. I will be right back. Nah. Can you guys join uh, Drag Call? Wait, what? Join Drag Call. Oh, you can join. Oh, man. Bro. So, yeah. thoughts? That, that, that was really fun. Hey, uh. uh yeah. <laughs> that, was, Let's, that was really like, high school. <laughs> bro, I expected to do worse, which is. Not saying much. Dude, that was a good game, though. I, I had fun spectating. It's just um, that guy left, and uh, he says I, I told him I tried to convince him not to give up, but it's just you know as time goes on, it's like you have to learn your mistakes. I mean, I was once you know plat hard suck plat, but it just takes time, you know. I mean, that guy was really just pushing by himself. I you learned know? what master is today, so that's cool. I I was <laughs> trying I was trying my heart out of those games. And, Dude, and you died last you? map on the last uh, round. Uh -huh. Were you and I playing Ringer on the Rosie's first round? Oh yeah, that was me. That was me. I was just sitting in a bar. <laughs> Dude, I heard something down there. I was like, where the hell is this kid? So I was like, oh, maybe he's above me. Oh, that was, that was fun though. Right, we're going to have to do an, another map uh, 
like tomorrow or something. I'll get this video out tomorrow. I'll edit it all tonight. But um, right. yeah, uh, if you guys could, I will send you guys a 